hi this is Diane love to bake on YouTube and what we're going to make are actually a cookie that you use jello whatever type of flavor that you want I'm going to be using strawberry but you know if, when you go into the grocery store there are so many flavors of jello that you know it's endless which one that you want to uh, try but I thought I would use strawberry so you will need one package of whatever type of jello uh, that you want uh, it, the gelatin dessert of course I'm talking about uh, it's a four uh, four serving uh, package now you can buy whatever brand that you want uh, of course and I would suggest to buy uh, an additional box of jello because what we're going to do is once we make the cookie we're going to sprinkle uh, the the uh, jello uh, on um, on top of the cookie so you're going to need additional uh, amount of uh, of the package so I would suggest to buy at least two packages uh, of that so let's get started first let's start off with the dry ingredients there's three and a half cups of all-purpose flour by the way real quick I do mention on every video I no longer list the ingredients uh, of the recipe because of so many people taking my work and putting it on on different sites so um, I hopefully I'm going to do it uh, slowly enough uh, and uh, accurately and that way you can write it down if you're so inclined so three and a half cups of all-purpose flour and you're going to put one teaspoon of baking powder in that that was one teaspoon and then with my spoon I'm just going to give it a good stir and then I'm going to set it aside for the moment now we'll work on the um, cookie dough itself and the wet uh, ingredients what you're going to need is three um, three sticks or one and a half cups of butter or margarine maybe you don't have butter in the house maybe you would only like margarine either one this cookie will come out fantastic so you need one and a half cups of, of butter I'm using butter to, today I uh, cut it into small pieces because it's easier to cream it's faster and especially for the video I want to move it along for people that are watching so it doesn't take too long so I'm just going to start breaking that up I'm going to warn you about the sound of my mixer because it can be loud now you're going to spend a lot more time than I just did in fact I raised my speed just to move it along okay uh, so a lot of my mixing might seem aggressive but it, it's not intentional it's always that I I try to say right after it I'm moving it along moving it along for the for the video so I don't want to bore everybody you know um, okay the next thing that you're going to be putting in is a cup of sugar with the butter so start creaming and beating that together and again the sound of the mixer stay with that till it's very light very fluffy and well combined and that might take you two or three minutes you might not even be using a stand-up you're going to use a, a hand mixer so it really depends on the speed that you're using the equipment that you're using but whatever it takes till it's light and fluffy okay so it'll look like that okay I hope that you can see that all right now the next thing of course is going to be your package of jello I'm using strawberry you can use whatever you want but then start beating that in and that was one package 
that's a four ounce serving uh, package or box. Now, I'm just going to clean the sides of my mixing bowl here, get to the bottom. You want to make sure that everything's well combined, that the, the jello, the gelatin has been mixed well. Okay. And you know, that might take you two or three minutes. Maybe it'll take you longer. It really depends. You can already see the color change and you can really smell the strawberry um, in, in the mixture already. Now, once that you have that mixed and creamed well and everything is together, all right, you're going to be putting in an egg. And you're going to beat in an egg. I've had it at room temperature. You're also going to be putting in vanilla, so put one teaspoon of vanilla in. And then just beat that till it's all combined. And again, that really depends um, on, on the speed that you're using. So I'm going to beat mine for a little bit longer. You don't want to really over beat them. So, you know, because then the cookie might become more dense or tough or heavy. I'm just going to take off my excess here of my paddle with my spatula. Okay, and then I'm going to set that aside. Alright, and I'll show you what it looks like. Just give it a good stir, get to the bottom of my mixing bowl. I want to make sure that everything was mixed. And you want to just stay with it till it's all combined. You're going to be able to visually see if, you know, you missed some butter or the, the gelatin wasn't mixed in well, you're going to be able to see it and you can finish it by hand, just like I'm doing, okay? And it will look like this, okay? All right, now, I wanted to show you that because a lot of people have, have written and said that I didn't didn't show that, so I guess I didn't really have to clean my beaters, but oh well. Better mixing, right? Okay, so let's now start adding the dry a little at a time. around too high because you don't want flour all over the kitchen. So try to just put a little in at a time. Raise your speed when you feel you can. And you really will know when it's done because it'll all, you know, uh, come together in a cookie, uh, a cookie dough ball. Okay, so once again here, we're going to take the beater out. Get that excess off. There we go. And we'll set that aside. Okay, now I can show you how this has come together. 
so you saw the creamed mixture and now the cookie dough okay I just want to make sure again bears repeating I got to get to that bottom of that mixing bowl and work those sides okay now these cookies are really quite light they're not a real heavy or a real dense cookie even though as I'm mixing this by hand because I had a little bit of residue of the dry on the bottom you know it's it seems you know make sure you, you put your arm to work in other words or your hand okay but I wanted to make sure that I got it okay so hopefully you can see that cookie dough all right all right so let me just wipe this a little bit you will need a pan of course or cookie sheet I went ahead and I have parchment paper on mine uh, you don't have to even spray uh, your uh, cookie sheet but I I thought I would use parchment um, but you don't really need to grease your pan or spray your pan um, at all uh, you know there is quite a bit of butter in that so I don't think you're going to have a lot of uh, 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 sticking now you will have as I mentioned you will want to buy that extra box of gelatin also if you want to um, use a different flavor a different color you can do that too if you just don't want to stick with the the same thing in other words you know if you're using strawberry and I don't know maybe you want to buy cherry jello or put lime jello on top of it whatever you could do that too so um, but anyway that's my extra here now you will need some type of a glass or whatever or something flat uh, um, or a cookie stamp or something to flatten the cookie so the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to make it um, one inch balls what's so nice about this cookie dough not only will you see how light and delicate it is it's so easy to work with with your hands it doesn't really stick to your hands you're able to, to roll a nice uh, round one inch ball I would um, they they do spread out a little not much but I would give them at least an inch and a half if you want to play it safe two inches apart uh, on that one inch ball um, you know and then just lay them down on um, on your tray or in my case the parchment paper okay and you get the idea now you'll get about five dozens if you make um, the one inch ball okay the next thing is I just like to get the bottom of the glass a little bit with the um, butter so it's a bit oily and then just dip it into the jello see okay I love using this glass because this is part of the glassware from my parents restaurant and catering businesses that they had so it's great memories uh, using uh, using this glass and that's why I like to use it for all the videos now um, you can actually uh, double dip if you want to put a little bit more like that on top of it it will work or take again the additional and just sprinkle it on top you'll put as much gelatin as you want according to you know flavor and color and that's where I was saying you could have a separate uh, jello a different color and you know to decorate it with that okay um, now you're going to bake these at 400 degrees the only thing I'm going to tell you is please watch them because they will come up very quick sometimes at least they, they did for me uh, 
and at 400 they can take you know 10 12 minutes mine actually came up about all oh, about nine minutes so I like to start checking on my cookies uh, so that I don't over bake them and dry and dry them out and you know all our ovens set up so differently uh, but they do bake at a high temperature which is 400 so do check them now when they come out let them just sit on the hot tray for just a minute or so and then move them so they won't break up for you when you place them on your on your cooling rack okay um, if you were to run out of uh, the gelatin, the extra gelatin, you can certainly put granulated sugar if you want to cover them. You can use colored sugars uh, over them that you're used to using when you decorate cookies, sugar cookies. Um, but if you, you know, buy ahead those, um, that extra box of gelatin, um, I think you'll, I think you'll, you'll like the recipe uh, if you give it a try, okay? So let me set this aside rinse my hands quickly and then show you the final result. Alright, I always like to wash my hands because I was handling raw eggs. And this is how they're going to come out. You can see, I hope that you can see, um, the uh, gelatin, the extra gelatin that you sprinkle on the top, uh, and they, you know, this is strawberry, so they, they, the cookie itself is a very pastel pink color, and then you can see the uh, strawberry gelatin comes out a little bit darker, almost a um, kind of a pale red, I guess I would say. Now, they will bake up. You know hard on the uh, outside of the cookie okay uh, you will have a uh, light brown on the bottom which also will be crisp uh, I shouldn't say hard meaning dense but you know I hope you know what I mean uh, crispy now when you break it open though it is a bit of a, a, a moisture cookie uh, it, it's well it's not real moist uh, but you know it 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 you'll be able to see in fact what will be better if I just break one open again and show you that would be easier okay um, the inside I'm gonna press on it you can see it a little bit I don't know how much the camera will pick up so it's a drier cookie it has a little bit of a chew to it when you bite into it um, but like I said it's you know it's a medium a medium dry cookie but it is has a chew to it when you break it open you, you know you don't hear that crack where it'd be super dry so it's a really great tasting cookie um, and it's quite light it's not a heavy cookie because I know some people might think because you're using gelatin it might be very have a lot of weight to it but it really doesn't but anyway there you have it you're using a um, box of Jello or whatever brand Jello flavor that uh, that you have or that you like. You'll get about five dozen out of this cookie. If you try this recipe and you like it, we'll leave a comment because I really like to hear from you. I also want to remind you to solely watch me on YouTube because that's the only place that I put my videos on. So if you're writing comments or you have questions, I want to be able to answer them and I'll read them on YouTube. So I want to again thank you again for watching. Please subscribe if you're so inclined or give the video a like or ring the bell. Boy, I'd appreciate it. So thank you for watching. Diane Love to Bake on YouTube and I'll see you soon.